What's up boys and girls and welcome back to another Black Desert Online Guide. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the basics of trade runs. I'll go over how to get your first cart, how to get trade goods, and most of all, how to make some money off of it. Trading has become my second favourite activity in this game, just behind horse breeding and taming. It's a very relaxing activity which can also make you some pretty good money in the long run. So, to get started you're going to need a cart. You can do trade runs on foot or with a donkey, but each trade run will take you a very long time and you really won't make very much money at all. So, to get your first cart it's pretty simple. You go to a stable manager in any town and buy one. You'll see there are a few types of carts available, but they're all pretty trash except for the farm wagon. This is because it can hold more items, thus making each trade run more profitable. This wagon will cost you 180k silver to purchase, and no, you don't have to tame your own horses for it. They come with the wagon. Something worth noting is that you can hook up two of your horses to this wagon if you want, and they will level up whilst you do your trade runs. If you only use one horse, then it will level at 100% speed, and if you use two, it will level at just a bit more than 50% speed. But you may as well kill two birds with one stone and level your horses whilst you're doing trade crates. When you're on your wagon, press P and it will bring up the mount information box. This will show you all the information that you need to know about your wagon. The durability is its HP. If it reaches zero, the wagon will be destroyed, but it can be revived at any stable vendor and you will not lose your items in the wagon. Unless you get attacked by bandits, in which case, yes, you can lose some of your items. Weight is the total weight that the wagon can take in its limit. Once you get to the point of its max weight, you can no longer put any more trade packs in it, even if you haven't filled up all the slots. Lifespan is the remaining amount of life for the wagon. When it reaches zero, it will be destroyed and it's not recoverable. It's similar to the way boats work in this game. I'd advise not having a full wagon worth of trade crates when the lifespan hits zero. I'm not totally sure what will happen, but I wouldn't really want to find out. If you have connected horses, then you can also see their XP, level, and skill list. Something nice about leveling horses with wagons is that they don't lose stamina, so there is no need to carry any carrots with you. Finally is the equipment section. You can craft and purchase add-ons for your wagon, like better wheels, lanterns, flags, and covers. All of these things give little bonuses, such as movement speed increase, maximum weight increase, or increased item protection. If you want to look into this more, then I suggest checking out the Wagon Part Workshop, which is in various towns such as Heidel. Whilst on the subject of crafting, you'll probably find that you can actually craft wagons. Now, if you craft a level 3 wagon, these ones are a lot better than the ones purchasable through the stables. They can hold up to 4 horses, and they have a much higher weight limit, so it will allow you to carry more trade packs at once. This is not something that I've attempted myself yet, so I'll have to give you a bit more info on that later down the line when I've actually tried to do it. Before starting your trade runs, you need to ensure that you have your nodes connected up between where you want to trade. I'd recommend having at least High Delta Calfian linked up before starting, as this will give you around a 20% trading distance bonus. The further the distance travelled, the larger the bonus is. If you do not have nodes linked up, then you will only get 30% of the item value, which means you'd actually be losing money. To connect up the nodes, you need to talk to a node manager and then select Node Management. From here, you click the invest contribution points at the top left, the node will then be linked up, and you will now receive full price for trading items here. Once you've linked enough nodes and you're happy with the travel distance, then it's time to get started with your very first trade run. So, to start off, you're going to need some trade crates. There are two ways that you can obtain these. You can either get them through any trade manager, or you can craft them via your workers. Let's go over the purchasing method first. Go to a trade manager at a node and select the trade button. This will take you to a screen where you can browse the different products on the left. Food, clothing, regions, and much more. All of the different categories have different materials that are worth varying amounts of money. As you level up your trading, you will unlock more of these materials, allowing you to pick the more profitable trade crates. In this menu, you will also see the value of the trade crates and their current percentage. The trading system works by supply and demand. So if the demand for a product is great, then you will profit more money off of selling them. But if everyone else is selling the same product to the same trade manager, then you're not really going to be making very much money at all. If you select the sell button, you can see the varying prices of items here. As you can see, the anti-petrifying amulet has dropped in value a lot lately, whereas the Trent Carpentry tool has increased in value. If you want to know where you can get these items, then just hover over them and it will tell you which town or node they are from. If you want to know how much money you're going to get for trading a specific item to a trade manager, then you can select market price next to the take button. 
It costs one energy to do this, but it will show you the rate at which the other vendors are paying for that specific item, thus allowing you to make the largest possible profit. The highest percentage is always better when selling, and when buying, you want to try and get it at the lowest percentage possible. If you don't want to buy crates directly off the trade managers, then you can also get your workers to craft them for you. Trade crates can be made out of pretty much anything in this game. Ores, herbs, fish, wood, and even sunflowers. If you want to get started with this, then you can either get your workers to gather materials for you, or you can go do it yourself. I'd recommend getting your workers to do most of it as it saves time and energy. Most trade crates cost 10 of the primary raw material, like iron ore, and then one blackstone powder. You can combine these in a mineral factory in order to turn the mats of the iron ore into trade crates. After you've done that, you can collect the crate from your storage and then take it to wherever you want. If you want to try and level up your trading a little bit faster, then you'll want to purchase a trader's outfit. This can be bought from the luxury vendor in Hydel or crafted via the costume building also in Hydel. This outfit gives you extra bargaining attempts as well as increased XP. There are different tiers of this outfit that require a higher trading skill to use, so they get better as you level up and purchase the next one. Bargaining is a mini game which seems to confuse a lot of people, myself included. When you sell your goods to a trade manager, you can select the bargain option. This will allow you to attempt to balance the set of scales in order to sell your products at a higher rate. Each attempt costs 5 energy, and as of yet, I haven't found a solid system on how to win this. It seems somewhat random, but I tried to follow the on-screen prompts. If it said something like, the trader doesn't seem interested, then I aggressively bargain. But if it says something like, everything is going according to plan, I then use the normal bargaining option. I normally try three times, but if I fail that many times, then I stop, because in my opinion, it's not worth 20 energy. So, that's pretty much the basics of trade runs in this game, guys. Here's a quick summary. You can purchase a variety of crates from different trade managers depending on your trading level. The higher the level you are, the better the crates you can get. The further you travel, the more money you will make as long as the nodes are connected. Make sure you're doing trade runs in both directions. E.g. buy at Velia, sell at Calfian, buy at Calfian, then sell back at Velia. Supply and demand rules the trading in this game, so don't buy a product with a very low profit value. Try and find a trade manager that not everyone uses for more profit. And finally, you can also level your own horses whilst you do trade runs by connecting them to your wagon. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, then please do drop a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or any comments you want to do, then please do drop them below as I will read them. Until next time, guys, take it easy and peace out.